This is Bert's 200 foot flagpole, and at the top of it is a 350 pound American flag. It's the biggest flag in Florida, and there's only one problem owning a flag this size. It needs repairs, often. About every month or so, the sheer weight of the flag whips the end to the point where it tears. And there's no way we are flying the biggest flag in Florida on our nation's birthday with a tear. So we lowered the flag, put the replacement flag up, each of which cost a measly $10,000, and sent it for repairs. Now the only place in the US that repairs a 50 foot by 100 foot flag is Nationwide Pennant and Flag in Texas. So we packed our bags and headed to San Antonio. Street crime around this place is insane. When we landed, we had some time to kill, so Galen, knowing how much I love animals, took me to the Buckhorn Saloon where they have tons of animals on display. Why don't you tell Galen how you met Bert, our boss? Oh, you, you want me to tell that story? He might not want me telling that story. This is Don. He's the guy who installed the flag, and you can find him on Spotify. Bert King used to sell him cars back in the 80s. Now he's our flag guy. Yeah, so he, he, was about, he was about 23 years old. He said something like in 20. the 1980s. I looked at Bert, and he's got dressed up, nice dress shirt, slacks, and everything, but he's wearing tennis shoes. I said, boy, can't you afford a pair of shoes? <laughs> So I gave him a hard time about it, about not wearing shoes. You wear sandals now. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's even he, he went downhill. <laughs> in this huge building, they repair flags for the biggest displays in America. And after the flag was fixed, we carefully folded it into our carry-on and headed home to raise it for the Fourth of July. That's a big pole. I think we it wound up being re-engineered. We had to re-engineer it. Uh, to, for that soil down there, and they had it been for the wind speeds. And that pole wound up weighing, weighing 52,000 pounds. I heard it's like 15 feet in the ground, too. It's 20 feet with five more foot of concrete underneath it, because that ground is not real good ground. It's sort of like... Sand. <laughs> yeah, sand. Sand and seashells and water. We hit, we hit water at about three feet. So it was a challenge, but uh, we got her done. To the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, and take me home. This process has to be done every time the flag tears. It just goes to show how badly Bert wanted a 200 foot flag. At the end of the day, with a little bit of wind, it's all worth it. Happy 4th of July. Make sure to like and share this video, and if you're ever in the St. Pete Clearwater area, stop by and see Florida's largest flag. Driving down a road I